Welcome back to ZOS Introduction. This is the 18th video in the series. Job Entry Subsystem, JES, is a critical ZOS component because of its role in managing the ZOS workload. The objective is to briefly answer these four questions. What is JES? Why is JES required? The relationship between JES and the system users? The difference between JES 2 and JES 3. What is JES and why is JES required by ZOS? The diagram shows the critical JES role related to managing jobs before and after job execution. Job Entry Subsystem, JES, is used by ZOS to 1. Receive jobs into the operating system. 2. Schedule jobs for processing, and 3. Control job output processing. A JES controlled spool dataset is used to store all job input and output. JES has readers, and these readers are available to receive work from any authorized source. JES output can be directed to printers, other disk storage data sets, or remain in the spool until purged. The JES readers understand JCL. JES parses the JCL. JES detects and reports on JCL syntax errors, and if JCL requests exclusive use of a resource such as a data set name, then the job will not start until the resource is available for exclusive use by the job. JCL can be submitted to the JES reader, or a ZOS start command can be used to send JCL to the reader for execution. The example shown is JCL that is submitted to the JES reader. A message was returned acknowledging the sort JCL job was submitted and a unique JES job number 01665 was assigned. The JCL submitted includes an operand on the JCL job statement to notify the submitter upon completion. The last line on the chart shows job 01665 ended with maximum condition code of zero. The example shown is JCL that is submitted to the JES reader with an invalid parameter on the sort NDD name. JES immediately reports the JCL syntax error. Observe the lines with message IEFC 620i unidentified character question mark on the DD statement. The message line is preceded by the number 3, which means JCL line 3 in the JES parsed JCL stream encountered the problem. Each question mark on JCL line 3 produced a syntax error message. Most ZOS installations use JES2 to provide the critical JES functions. However, numerous large ZOS enterprises use JES3 for a variety of reasons. While JES3 provided functionality not available in JES2, recent JES2 advancements is now including some of the functionality previously only available in JES3. JES2 will continue to be enhanced. JES3 will continue to be fully supported by IBM. Both JES2 and JES3 are highly customizable with commands to control the respective JES resources. The ZOS Internet Library includes a JES2 bookshelf. Three recommended books for those beginning the ZOS skills journey would be the JES2 Introduction, Initialization and Tuning Guide, and the Initialization and Tuning Reference. IBM Redbook ABCs of ZOS System Programming Volume 2, Chapter 2, 
is an excellent overview of Jez job management. In summary, what you have learned is job entry subsystem Jez is a critical ZOS component because of its role in managing the ZOS workload. Thank you for your time.